Good morning, and I've been reading some verses from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 13. And in particular, I've honed in on the final few verses in that chapter, from 53 to 58. The preceding verses, and a good deal of chapter 13, is concerns Jesus' teaching through parables. Such a powerful device that he, he deployed. And in teaching particularly about the nature of the kingdom of heaven, but to large crowds of people and also to his own disciples. And by the time we get to verse 53, he's, he's been on a run of, 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 this, of this teaching. And um, he goes home to his hometown and get this sense of somebody having worked hard, you know, and um, off they go home and imagine, you know, yourself having done a hard day at work and maybe you're driving home or you're traveling home somehow. And um, you think, oh, it'd be good to get home. You know, you've got supportive people around you, a place where you can, it's like a sanctuary, isn't it? You can get back and put your woes and your troubles behind you. Uh, and um, it's just such an important idea, isn't it? The idea of going home, especially when you've been out and about working and, um, and so on, as Jesus had. But unfortunately, <laughs> he, he, he doesn't get the kind of reception we might hope for ourselves when we do get home. Um, so verses 53 to 58. When Jesus finished telling these parables, he left that place and went back to his hometown. He taught in the synagogue and those who heard him were amazed. Where did he get such wisdom? They asked. And what about his miracles? Isn't he the carpenter's son? Isn't Mary his mother? And aren't James, Joseph, Simon and Judas his brothers? Aren't all his sisters living here? Where did he get all this? And so they rejected him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is respected everywhere except in his hometown and by his own family. Because they did not have faith, he did not perform many miracles there. I just find those verses quite powerful and, and very sad um, because Jesus gets back to Nazareth and, and um, he's um, teaching in the synagogue and, and basically people resent it. Who is he? Who does he think he is? You know who he is, Jesus, you know, his family and there and whatever. You know, where, where, where did that all come from? And, yeah, it's, it's resentment, I suppose, isn't it? And that really powerful form of words that Jesus comes out with. A prophet is respected everywhere except in his hometown. And it sort of brought it home to me, really, how how important the idea of, the, of that place of sanctuary and, and security and warmth is to us. And of course, not not everybody has that. Jesus certainly doesn't uh, encounter that in this in this situation, does he? Quite the opposite. But you know, those of us who are fortunate to have that place that we we come back to after the troubles of the world and and so on um, have been upon us. You know, maybe forget sometimes that not everybody not everybody has that. So if you've done that difficult day of work or whatever you do you know things where you feel right now I'm going to go back home and just what how much value that has and if that isn't there um it, it's 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 must be really really difficult for people of course lots of people find themselves without that sense of a safe place of, of refuge a home people who are displaced, people who find themselves homeless, isolated. And it's worth, worth our while sometimes, I think, as, to reflect on that. And as we <clears throat> come into Advent and Christmas beckons, we often associate Christmas, don't we? We're getting together people with people and being at home. Chris Rea's famous Christmas song, Driving Home for Christmas, is all about somebody, you know, driving through driving through the streets or the, the lights and so on and um looking forward to to getting back home the sense of people gravitating back to their families and so forth which is so important 
and yet denied really to, to so many people. So I'll close today really with that, with that thought and that reflection on the nature of hope and give thanks for those of us who have that sense of a safe place, it's a place of acceptance, a place where we're valued and pray for those who, for whatever reason, just don't have that, have that in their lives. Amen.